Here we have a simple circuit um, where we have I1 coming out of the bat IT, sorry, coming out of the battery, and it splits then through I1, I2, and I3. Um, we're going to first of all calculate the equivalent resistance of this parallel network. So the generic form is for any parallel network is 1 over RT is equal to 1 over 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3. So in this case it's 1 over 5600 plus 1 over 4700 plus 1 over 3300, the values here. And if we put those into a calculator we would get that the total resistance for the parallel network is 1440 ohms. Therefore the total resistance of the complete circuit is when well, we have 1000 ohm here flows down through a 1440 ohm resistor and back out through here. So they're all in series. So the generic equation for a series circuit, um, total resistance of a series circuit is R1 plus R2 plus R3. So in this case it'll be 1000 plus 1400 plus 1000, which is 3440. Right, so the total resistance is 3440. From that I can get the total current. So the total current is the voltage divided total voltage divided by total resistance. And it's 28 volts divided by 3440, which gives me 8.14 milliamps. And because the total current flows through here, and this is also one kilo ohm, and that's one kilo ohm, one kilo ohm, then the current through here is also 8.14 milliamps. If I want to calculate the voltage across the parallel network. I use Ohm's law, which says V is equal to I by R. So it's 8.14 milliamps multiplied by 1,400, which gives me 11.72. And then I can calculate I1, I2, and I3. So I1 is the voltage um, across R2, which is 11.72 volts, divided by 5,600. And that can give me 2.1 milliamps. Similarly, I2 is the voltage across this resistor, which is also 11.72 because they're in parallel, divided by 4,700. That gives me 2.5 milliamps. And similarly for I3, which gives me uh, 3.5 milliamps. Now, let's look at Kirchhoff's first law. And he said that at a junction, the algebraic sum of the currents is equal to zero. So let's look at this junction here. Current flowing into the junction is 8.14 milliamps and the current flowing out of the junction is I1, I2 and I3 which is 2.1 milliamps, 2.5 milliamps and 3.5 milliamps. If we added these up we see that the current flowing out is 8.14 milliamps. So Kirchhoff's first law really was you know what flows into the junction is equal to what flows out of the junction and um, we've just seen here that is the case. Now let's look at the voltages. Okay, so the voltage across R1 is the current, 8.14 milliamps, multiplied by 1,000 ohms, which gives me 8.14 volts. I'm going to have a similar voltage down here, which is 8.14 volts, and I've already determined that the voltage across here, from that point to that point, across the parallel network, is 11.72 volts. So if I take a closed loop and look at the voltages in that closed loop. I can see that the voltages are 8.14, 11.72, and 8.14. So there's that's the voltage drops across the, the network. And if I add them together, I get 28 volts. And that's what Kirchhoff's second law said. He said the voltage drops in a closed loop is equal to the applied voltage. So the battery voltage here is 28 volts. So we've seen that that is equal to the sum of the voltage drops. So here's an ISIS simulation uh, of the circuit. I've just put in um, some ammeters here, here and here, and some voltmeters there, there and there uh, to look at the values. So uh, when I click on the start button there, um, the switch should close and we should see the the currents coming up. So I'm just going to start the simulation now. Close the switch and you'll see the current and voltage values are exactly as we calculate.